Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, Sampler Video Series videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks. Eh, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting to try an old-timey soda, which just makes me happy. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm still in, or I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing all that, folks, <sighs> I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? It happens to be my, boom, my in-vase shirt. Which is very cool. I like this shirt a whole bunch. Um, if you're not familiar with the musical project that is in-vase, it is the one-man musical project from a guy named Ian Shear. That's how I'm going to have to pronounce his name. I, I'm, I'm never sure how it exactly it works. But um, Ian's an extremely cool guy. I've been Facebook friends with him for over 10 years. I actually got to meet him in person uh, a few years before that. Um, he was, at the time, he was the drummer in a band called Straight Line Stitch. Uh, I think he was more of a touring guy at that point, but, you know, extremely cool dude. Made an impression on me right from the get-go. And, you know, I just, I really liked his stuff. These days he doesn't really tour, but he still produces music under the in-bass name. And... I just think his stuff is really cool, you know, and on top of putting out really good music, he's just a good dude, and so, you know, super cool shirt, something I can help promote a little bit. I like to do that. Uh, I actually like his stuff so much, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel, which is where he puts up pretty much all of his music, so that's going to be in the uh, description box for this particular uh, video, just in case maybe you're interested. But anyway... What am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Old-timey soda. Well, if you watch my channel, you know I love soda, and I happen to love old-timey sodas in particular. I like the stuff that was probably originally made with cocaine to be medicinal, and I love that stuff. I love root beers and ginger ales and all that kind of stuff. But this isn't that. This is actually something that I have had in the past, but I have not had in quite a while. What is it, folks? It's boom! It's cheer wine! says, drink cheer wine. Don't tell me what to do, cheer wine. I do what I want. I'll end this review right fucking now. And I won't even do a damn thing about it. I'll just be over there and be like, eh. Okay? So I'm doing this because I want to. Not because you told me to. Since 1917... Such a fucking idiot. Since 1917, I believe this comes from the great state of Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. That's, that's what I looked up. Uh, and I guess it's actually still owned by the same family, which is amazing and super cool. Good on you, Cheerwine family. That is a legacy, man. Does it actually have a thing that says anything? Apparently it's made with real cane sugar, so that's good. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, let's open it up. Are you twist off? Yes, you are. If I recall, like, I remember it being sort of like a cherry Coke, but let's give it a go. It smells a little bit like a cherry Coke, but with a heavier emphasis on the cherry. Ooh. Wow, that's very different than a cherry Coke. <laughs> Again, it's been a long time since I've had this. Wow, that hit weird. Not in a bad way, but, like, just unexpected. Um, I'll say this, you can definitely taste the cane sugar. Like, there's no denying the cane sugar just has a different, it has like a greater depth of flavor than normal sugar does. Whereas normal sugar, it provides a sweetness. That's what it's there for. Cane sugar, I feel, not only does it provide a sweetness, but it gives it a little something extra. So that's nice. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I'm not liking this quite as much as I remember liking it. Because I remember, like, the last time I had this had to have been maybe a couple years ago. Um, and I, I've always remembered really enjoying it. But I'm not disliking it, but I'm not enjoying it in the way that I, was, what, that I thought I was going to. One of the things that 
kind of throws me a little bit. The level of carbonation. The way it drinks doesn't drink the way I was expecting it to. It seems a little bit lighter on the carbonation than certain other beverages, especially some of the... Well, I say that, but like some of the old-timey beverages, it really can vary. Some of the older ones seem to actually have favored less carbonation. So maybe that's kind of where it's coming from, is, you know, that older style recipe. Um, but it just, it drinks a little bit thinner than I would expect from, uh, from an older style soda. And it's less like a cherry cola and almost more like a cream soda, like a cherry cream soda is kind of what I'm going to go with. It's sort of like if you went over there and took cream soda as a base, mixed in a little Dr. Pepper and a little bit of cherry to sort of give it its flavoring. That's kind of what I'm going with. In my head, I remember it as really having this really strong, potent cherry flavor. And it's there, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it isn't. But it's not, not in the same way that I was expecting. And yeah, just the way that it drinks, I don't know. It, it almost feels, it feels like, com by comparison to, you know, to other drinks, it feels almost like it's been sitting for a little bit. You know, some of the carbonation has left it. And that's not the case, it's, you saw me open it. But it just, yeah. I don't know, I'm not, again, I, I'm not disliking it, but, hmm. I like the cane sugar aspect of it. I like the somewhat Dr. Peppery kind of feel that it has. But I have to admit, yeah, I was I was expecting a stronger oomph from the cherry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like there's something to it for sure. I can see why it's been around as long as it has, but hmm. All right. Well, Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Did I do a thing for the thing? I don't think I did a thing for the thing. Well, it's probably not going to matter at this point, but we'll... Okay, do it. Ha 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 ha! That's not going to end up being the thumbnail at all. I'll have to do it from, uh, from the beginning, but whatever. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, yes and yes, but somewhat hesitant on both. So like I said, I was expecting... You know, and I guess maybe this is one of those things where I came into it with loftier expectations than perhaps I should have. But I felt like I was on pretty solid ground with this because, again, I had had it in the past and I did remember enjoying it quite a bit. Um, you know, I I don't dislike it at all. I like that it has a unique flavor. Like, if I'm putting the positives first, again, I like the cane sugar aspect of it. I like that in some ways it does have that old-timey kind of feel. And I do like that it's a very unique flavor. You know, again, it's not just a cherry cola. However, I don't like the thinness of it. You know, I would like, for, excuse me, I say that as I'm rudely belching. Uh, I don't like the somewhat less carbonated kind of feel that it has. I think a little bit extra would give it some extra oomph, and that would kind of help the experience for me. Uh, again, the cherry flavor, man, I was expecting it to be more cherry, you know, instead, again, kind of almost a cream soda-y kind of experience. So, yeah, I don't know, it's, it doesn't quite live up to what my hopes and dreams were for it, but I do still like that it's unique, I do appreciate the pedigree that it has, uh, but at the same time, you know, if I'm comparing it against, like, certain other old-timey sodas, I actually happen to have two with me. Boom, Dad's Root Beer, and where'd the other one end up? Boom, Green River, which, by the way, I just got through reviewing some Green River soda, so that'll be on the channel as well. I've got to admit, you know, I I got all these from the same place, by the way, which is a snazzy 7-Eleven that, for some reason, just serves really cool sodas. I have to admit, you know, I was like, man, gonna get some Dad's, gonna get some Cheerwine, gonna get some Green River... It's like, this is going to be amazing. And it's like, Dad's was great. Green River, fantastic. Cheerwine, good. Not great, but good. If I'm recommending it, I'm sure that, you know, again, the fine state of Carolina, you know, I'm sure they're very proud of it. You know, and it's got... The fact that I can get it here in Illinois says a lot. 
I'm sure it absolutely has its fans. And I'm not going to say that I'm not one of them. I'm just not as devoted as a fan as maybe I would have liked to have been. Uh, it's one of those things where I would say, because I know it does have a devoted fan base. And it's one of those things where I think you got to sort of mitigate your expectations a little bit. You know, it's not, it doesn't have some of those same old timey qualities that I sort of associate with old timey sodas. But at the same time, it does have others, like, again, just how unique the flavor is and stuff. So, if nothing else, it's worth picking up and trying, because you're not going to get anything else quite like it. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, rest of your year, folks, go over there themselves. Truly, I've had way too much soda-tastic rest of your life today. <laughs> oh, final two things. Number one. Try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your opinion on old-timey sodas? Specifically, cheer wine, if you've had any experience with it. But I would be really interested, like, you know, because I've done some reviews for old-timey sodas, and they tend to be very hit or miss as far as, uh, you know, sort of response and viewership is concerned on the channel. You know, some of them, for whatever reason, really catch on and people really have a lot to say about them. Other ones, just nobody seems to care about. And that could just be the algorithm. Who the fuck knows? You know, I don't care any one way or another. I just put the stuff out and hopefully people like it. But I am really interested. And if any folks from Carolina have anything to say about Cheerwine, is it something that is it? By the way, is it North Carolina or South Carolina? I don't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't think to look now that I think about it. Because there are two. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, Carolina. Anyway, bye.